Ugh, ew. There's a there's a dragon with rain in my party. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Cotton Eye Joe doesn't know where I came from. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, what's going? Would you like to join me in Power Wash Simulator? I could do I that. am currently doing a job I, I don't do think that. you've done yet. And I'm pretty sure... I just finished it. You finished what? <sighs> the temple. Perfect. I'm on the one um, two after the temple. And I've, I've, like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh my gosh, Dragon totally wants to clean this part of this thing. So I'm ignoring it right now. And then, um, and then if you want, after you finish this one, I can go uh, with you to do the one right after Temple. Because that one wasn't too bad. What's doing on Wreckfest? Is there like dailies on there now or something? No, that's just that Korean mode. I was gonna play. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you can do that too. And then. No, I'm coming. I was gonna say if you I need to if you want to play uh, Wreckfest, then I can. <laughs> I can just join you when you, you do these two. Yeah, I decided to go off real quick. I'm just cleaning off the dick tip right now. Bing. Oh my god, look at it. I know which part you want to clean right away. You see the door. I'll give you a second. <clears throat> I'll let you dibs whatever you want. Good. <laughs> what the whole thing? Because I was gonna. <laughs> Says, hey, can I clean this one? Oh, yeah, sure. Internet suddenly goes up. Weird. Yeah, I had to clean it offline since uh, it dropped. Also, can we just acknowledge the fact that Dead by Daylight is kind of in the worst state it's been for Killer in a long time. I never really played Killer. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, so. even though um, DS deactivates in Endgame and Off the Record is also supposed to deactivate in Endgame, the fact that, like, several perks will deactivate for Killer after you've gotten somebody downed and killed somebody. Like burn. Yeah. <clears throat> Isn't it like first one downed or something? Um corrupt No, it's first one corrupt killed. Corrupt stops when you've won a chase and gotten somebody on hook. I don't know if it's when you down them or yeah. if it's when you've gotten them on hook, but corrupt will turn itself off. Um and then yeah, ruin deactivates as soon as somebody's dead. But then, of course, you have people who get borrowed off of Unhook, for the or off the record, DS. It's just ridiculous. And people can say those are anti-tunnel perks all they want, but people specifically use them to bully and take hits. Yeah. You can't stop. Well, that's always been the case. Stop survivors being assholes. Also, like playing yesterday and being killer. And then, you know, getting the easy win just because I had two people in basement at all times. Why would I give up the win just to be nice when most of the time survivors are fucking douchebags? Yeah. Thing is, is that when you're playing as killer too, you can't assume 
anything about the survivors you're playing against, the safest thing to do is assume that they are going to be really, really good. Assholes. Well, no. regardless of whether or not they're assholes, the assumption that they're going to be good is, is kind of necessary. Don't touch the scaffolding, by the way, just in case this is a fire, uh, you know, the situation of, like, the fire station. Oh, uh, right. Yep. Just because this is really tall, I feel like it would have that. Most uh, most of these seem to have achievements. I got an achievement for Temple. Something about the gnome and the, the top spot or whatever. Thing is, is that it spawned... I saw the gnome. The gnome spawned up top, and then the achievement. the achievement was, like, at some point, have the gnome on top of it. And I was like, that's weird. Huh. Yeah, that's right. I might not have read the entire thing. I kind of just glanced down at the achievement when I got it. Lily uh, wanted peanut butter sandwiches for lunch. Peanut butter sandwiches. I told her that's fine. How cheap? You say how cheap? Yeah. Cheap at the cheapskate. Cheap at the cheapskate. Ooh, a slide. It still amazes me how quickly Power Watch Simulator patched the game crashing. It was literally a day of you couldn't play. No, it was a week. Was it a week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I suppose by the time I downloaded it was a day. Because everybody was playing it, uh, and then I downloaded it. Yeah. Okay. Well, for me, it was a day. <laughs> people who play us on the last day before wipe man they update their servers so constantly when is the next wipe by the way because the last one wasn't blueprint no it wasn't blueprint which is uh, why it played. always happens on the thursday yeah which thursday last thursday of the month okay. me right round baby right round I just finished buying all the extensions so I'm out of money which maybe is the game that I need right now maybe I need to play some less I'm starting off late but with all the PV P and PVE games we've been playing. I feel like Rust would be like a decent like mix. Yeah, you get killed by uh, quite a few people and stuff. And there's assholes there, but there's assholes on every game. At least I can find like a loot system that I enjoy. Yeah. I miss being able to exploit a uh, launch site. Because when I was uh, when I was playing in the first month of the game being out, there was of course the exploit where you could jump in through the window without needing the key cards. And it's not that like it's any harder to do it just because of the key cards. It's just the amount of time 
that you're uh, vulnerable to people is massively increased. Mm. You know, because normally uh, the way that I'd done it was I ran straight from my house, straight there, literally had just bandages on me to combat the radiation and would just heal through uh, bandages. And pumpkins, too. Like, if I just had a stack of pumpkins, I was fine. You were all yeah. set. And, you know, I would just, like, I would run straight there. This was also when population was pretty low because people didn't like how laggy the game would be at times. Like, the po the server populations now are approximately double at all times what it was back when the game first came out. So I just literally sprint straight there with a hazmat suit on, run the entire thing, and then run right back. And then I would go south of my base, and I would run a different uh, monument, and then I would just come back and I would run it again. Oh yeah, what did you say that they were changing about train station? You said there's going to be a new event? They were adding a train. To, to the computer? Yeah, version. there's like an event with a train. Maybe. I don't know. I never played the computer version, so... I find it funny how um, my Google, when I open up um, my Chrome or whatever, it will try to show me articles based off of the games that I've, like, Googled information on. And some of the articles are mm -hmm. pathetic. Like, most recently, I had a, a thing that kept popping up every time I opened up my Google. There was an article that was like, Skyrim player fills street with excess loot, crashes game. And I was like, yeah, I'm not reading that, because I know that's how the game fucking works. That's, yeah. why are you reporting on this? Who wrote this article? How long has Skyrim been out? And they're just now finding out. I mean, there's some stuff every now and then that I would guess you and I would find out playing it that is brand new. But that's probably very rare. Yeah. Especially because I've already like watched crap tons of like deep dive videos and stuff like that on like hidden lore and like random events that can happen like cool shit just like um i think i told you about it when we were doing the the challenge series which we still have to complete by the way i just wouldn't mind playing it much right now um but there's uh what the uh, you have to get to 50 yeah can't remember the last scale you told me to get to 50. i don't recall was it one-handed might have been At some point, if um, if there's only like three or four skills left, we might just have to round them all out to 50. Also, I dare you to watch Boondock Saints and tell me that my shit is weirder. This stuff is weirder. No, yeah, but the, the telling me that requires you to have watched the movie first. And I know you haven't, because yeah. you told me yesterday you never had. Uh, I lied to you that day. I lied to you uh, yesterday. I just wanted to look cool in front of my friends. Yeah. Did... I watched all the way through it. Did you ever times. do that, by the way? 
Do you ever lie about something to try to look cool when you were a kid? Yeah. What did you lie about? I'm curious. Um, probably stuff that I watched. I think I, I lied about having watched Chucky at one point. I watched like other horror movies, but Chucky was just one that my dad didn't have. I still lie to try and look cool in front of others. Like on my Tinder bio, I don't put anything about how I love gaming. I'm just like, yeah, I love being outside, you know, I love doing all these things. Oh, that's because you, you put, like, the fact that you're a gamer on there at all, and it's it's repellent for some reason. Yep. Ignoring all... But outside of Xbox, I don't like to talk about how much of a game I am because, you know... It's not as cool as one might think. You mean it's just as new, bitch, as uh, you might assume? Exactly. Uses gamer terminology in describing to people how much you're not a gamer. (laughs) Just as much of a scrub lord as you are. <laughs> when you think about it, little kids are really just grub kings. <laughs> little kids came in naked and they stabbed you in the back just to get your loot. <laughs> When you think about it, paying your children's college tuition for them is basically like being incited. Hi. I'm Timmy, and I stole from my mom's purse. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I also lied about going on vacation. Oh, I never did anything like that. Where did you uh, lie about? Um, I lied and said I'd been to uh, Devil's Lake, because it was a place that I had heard of and knew that people like would go uh, like kayaking up there. So I got back... Um, from summer break and then people were like asking everybody what they did over the summer so i volunteered to go first so that way it didn't sound like i was uh copying anybody and i was like my family and i went kayaking up at devil's lake and they were like oh cool and then i shut up and i was like bitches they don't even know got them i know i actually felt really bad about it i was like what that was stupid why would i lie about that lie about the fact that I went on vacation. What did I actually do? Oh, I stayed home and I got beat by my parents over the summer. Why? <laughs> Everyone just shuts up. Uh, all right, so we've had enough of finding out what you did over the summer. Oh, oh, there was um there was an activity one time that we did for like circle time. Um I forget which f- uh fucking grade I was in. But um we were supposed to share something that happened to us like over the weekend or like how we were feeling or just basically anything and then anybody who felt like they um they related would stand up and then if you had just stood up you were one of the people that was allowed to go next so when i stood up to give my thing i was like who had a pet die this morning because I was, I was, I was oh, really damn. fucking pissed off about it because my bird had died. Um, and then I started to go to school. So I was pissed. And uh, so that was what I chose as my thing. And nobody stood up. And I was like, yeah, right, fuckers. I don't know why I would have been mad at like the rest of the class. I was just pissed off. How dare you not have a dead pet like me this morning? 
<laughs> None of you know my pain. <laughs> Fucking emo seven-year-old. Uh, I'm cleaning the bottom side of your slide, I just realized by accident. I uh, hope you don't mind. I'm pretty sure you don't want to. You bastard. I was making my way to it. Oh, really? I just got sidetracked it. It's like really far away and a pain in the ass to be spraying. I was... It used to be the roof, and then it just transitioned into the slide, and I didn't realize it. Alright. But if you're going to do it, it'll save me time uh, to just keep working on the siding. I'm trying to think what else I lied about as a kid. I didn't really lie too much. I learned pretty early on that lying got me beat. Which was actually kind of a negative for a little while. Getting beat was the negative? Uh, learning not to lie because lying would get me beat. So the, the problem there being that I knew that me lying got me hit. And so naturally, upon getting hit, I was like, wow, I better not lie anymore. Um, the negative to that being that my solution to other people lying was that uh, they, needed, to hit they needed help learning not to lie. I lied, and I got hit for it. And then I knew not to lie anymore. So if other people were lying, obviously, specifically, if their lies ended up becoming a negative for me, the natural course of action was to hit them. Because uh, they are clearly in the wrong there. They need to learn not to lie. But then, of course, the response was, you hit somebody, you're not allowed to hit people. Guess what the corrective course of action was for teaching me that hitting people wasn't okay? What Being they... hit. So there's a there's a little bit of an oxymoron there of, you know, if you want somebody to stop doing something, it's not okay to hit you people. hit them. And I'm going to hit you until you realize yeah. it's not okay not to hit people. <laughs> That's uh So so you can imagine why I spent Good. so much of my early childhood just always pissed off and hating everybody. It's not fair to remind Plus, me. Plus, in addition to that, you know, like any time some other kid would get in trouble, you wouldn't get to see them get punished. They'd just be like dragged away or something like that. You know, like they would be taken out of the room. And... Uh, the other issue is that I knew that other kids' parents weren't, like, actually disciplining them because they'd come back the very next week with the same shit. And I'm like, you clearly learned nothing. Did, do you even get... Let me help you. Do you even get punished? What the fuck is this bullshit? Like, it happens to me once and I correct my action. This motherfucker just keeps doing the same shit. Yeah. So after a while, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to fucking hit people. I feel like it. Cause, cause there is no rhyme or reason. Now look at you, you're a well-rounded individual who just hits girls and their pussies. The only thing I smack is her uterus, <laughs> and her ass when she tells me to. <laughs> The only time she lets me, though, is when I don't have, uh, that I'm a gamer on my dating profiles. 
<laughs> uh, you're a gamer? No, keep your hands to yourself. That was the other thing, too, was that, like, I, I never understood why my parents would treat me worse than my other siblings. Like, I'm at home playing games, behaving, literally not doing anything wrong. You know I am never getting into trouble. And they were like, Psh, you just stay inside all day and play video games. And I'm like, yeah, I fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared to go outside. Show it. Well, no, me. I used to get yelled at because I would, like, neighborhood kids would, like, literally steal my bike and go and hide it in, like, a sandbox or some shit. And I would come home and I'd be like, uh, neighborhood kids stole my bike. And they'd be like, well, why'd you let them take your bike? And I was like, I didn't. They took my bike. Oh, uh, you know, I thought, I thought it would be cool. I mean, they never I, did I it again after I came it. after them with a samurai sword. The, the what? samurai sword. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my dad had samurai swords. They took my bike. He told me to deal with it myself. So I went and took one of his samurai swords and went after the neighborhood kid with it. Why well, you dealt with it yourself? Yeah, I got my bike back. I can't be pissed. Yeah. I'm sure uh, the kids were scared of you, of course. Yeah. I was also, um, after I had transferred uh, schools um, once or twice... I don't know how, but for some reason, some of the kids, like, at the new school that I went to knew that I had, like, thrown chairs at teachers and shit. Dragon, I'm a ninja. Mm -hmm. Do you see me ninja-ing up here? Yeah, ninja. Try to find me. I don't see you. Are you there? Are you out there? Can you hear me? Am I supposed to come look? Oh, I'm supposed to come look. <laughs> if I was a Ben, where would I be? I would probably be... Guaranteed you're not seeing me from where you're at. I know where you are. You've missed me twice now. Is that a gnome up there? I don't know. Dragon, come it's up the slide, but keep, look straight up while you're walking up the slide. How'd you even manage you to get can up climb there? this? You can like jump and slide against it, and then like this upper portion because it's like more sideways. You can just keep sliding upwards. Oh wow! Okay. Really convenient for cleaning up the tall bullshit. You found the gnome. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Um, with I don't know. We can, uh, before we finish, we can try to see where it needs to go. Or if it, there is a, an achievement for that on this. You know what, I'm just going to check the achievement right now. Because if there's not a, a scaffolding achievement. On all cleaning liquids at the same time, I guess I better do that. On the Prime Vista, 1,503 of its attachments. That's literally the worstest one. Um, Urban X. The yeah. worstest. Urban X, U2, and four of its attachments. Own 3,000 and five of its attachments. Own the Prime Vista Pro and six of its attachments. Uh, equip new outfit gloves and washer modification at the same time. I don't have a washer modification. Completely clean the van using only the red nozzle. In the backyard, complete all 12 stepping stones first. In the playground, roll the football up the stego slide. Look at daddy. Look at that dad. I see. Uh, complete the bungalow gutters last. Blow it um, down. Complete the sole of the shoe house last. Bonus. Completely clean the fire station job without standing on the scaffolding. Complete the fire truck windows, windscreen, and wing mirrors first. In the treehouse, complete all the lanterns first. 
Uh, complete the fire helicopter blades first. In the washroom, complete the toilets last. On Halter Skelter, complete the objects that have light bulbs before anything else. We didn't do that. Uh, complete private nope. jet laser and anti-gravity parts first. Complete the monster truck tires first. Ride around the Ferris wheel with a gnome. In the subway platform, complete the advertising boards first. At the ancient statue, knock over four buckets. Complete clean the ancient monument using only the white nozzle. So ancient mo monument, there's two of them. Oh no, ancient statue and ancient monument, never mind. Um, complete fishing boat decks and steps first. Secret achievement at the fairground, knock over all the coconuts. Earn 150 stars in career mode. Clean 95% of any job without completing any tasks. Jesus. Uh, complete the drill head and tip first. Uh, get one gold medal in challenge mode. Get five gold medals in challenge mode. Jesus, 95% without successfully cleaning anything? What job would that be easiest to do that on? Maybe the penny farthing because of all the rust? Or something that only has a few spots, like the van? Oh, all of those are individual things. Damn. Um, if you are concerned, I'm not getting a whole lot cleaned. It's because I'm currently doing spot cleaning on some of the higher up pieces. Like ones that need just a little bit more. I hate when people ask for my opinion and then don't listen to common sense. Dragon, should I come in this chick? No. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Alright, so the girl that, you know, was oh, waking oh, up no, with Dragon, the boyfriend Dragon. was all upset. When it comes to girls and giving them actual good advice on relationships, they never listen to it. That it, it's impossible to have them listen to anything. Really? But anyway, what was it? This. No, but listen, l listen to this. So she's like, I'm going to get back together with him because he said all this stuff this morning. Like, I'm sorry that I got or No, he never actually apologized for what he was doing. He was like, you took it this way and I didn't mean it like that. Um, Which is fair in some situations. I, I just... I just didn't want you to be upset or like I just want you to be yeah. happy or whatever and she was like oh my god he's so concerned with my well-being I was like I use the same line on women too this isn't anything so what you're saying is you're an asshole like please when, I, <laughs> when I'm about to lose somebody I usually get this line this isn't <laughs> anything yeah. And she was like, nah, nah, I, you didn't read the text, you should read it again, he means this. I was like, <laughs> yeah, okay, been there, done that. So she plans on getting back together with pathetic. him. Pathetic. Yeah. Like, not necessarily that she's pathetic, then, just the fact that it, like, everybody knows at this point that there's no, there's no arguing no, ignorance. You know that dudes do what, this. What was pathetic? What was pathetic was the fact that I told her, "All right, if you're going to get back together with him, what you need to do is lay down what you want from him and what you uh, need him to do in order to be like a better boyfriend to you." And she was like, "Nah, he's asking for a break. I can't really push him that way. I have to wait." I was like, "Good, good idea. Walk on eggshells about him. I, this is a great relationship." Like, if, if, if you are in a relationship, regardless of what level the relationship is at, having the conversation about what you need to be, ex like, what you need in a relationship and what you are capable of giving or not capable of giving is incredibly important. Like, I, I specifically yeah. don't like oh, the, you? yeah, I moved the scaffolding. Um, I specifically 
am not a huge fan of defining the relationship, but that's entirely separate from if you are in a relationship talking about what you need and what your partner needs to be doing for it to work out for you. The, exactly. That's a key thing. Like, if you were to say, I want to get back to Nicole with Nicole tomorrow, right? Yeah. Just an example. I know you want it. But if uh, you were to say that, I would literally say the same thing. Like, all right, if you're going to do that, that's okay if you want to get back with the same person. I understand there was like a deep level of trust or whatever. You know, you really care about them. What you need to do is explicitly define what you need in the relationship from her in order to have a successful relationship. You don't just willy nilly it as you go back in. Otherwise, you're just bound to have the same results yeah, happen. Which has literally happened before. Which is the same the same definition as insanity ex doing the same thing over and over expecting yeah. a different result <laughs> not it, it i almost want to message her that but i know it wasn't gonna hurt actually <laughs> the exact same thing there was always at least some small change well yeah but but there was just always a lot more that stayed the same yeah yeah We should give relationship advice. You know what we should do? We should start a podcast where we give relationship advice. We as, could, but we're as, not. No, as two dudes relationships. who aren't in relationships, we should just give it relationship <laughs> advice. Because nobody knows relationships like two single like two, people two who single can't get gamer girlfriends. <laughs> it's like a couple of wild and crazy guys. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a sexual guy. I feel like I've heard that before, but I can't think of where I've heard it from, and I just randomly said it one day. So I don't know if that's something that has been said previously. I just really like saying it like that. Just with that lisp. Oh. Okay, I'm a sexual guy. It I just see some too. nerd, like, oh, fixing his fucking bow tie and pushing up his glasses. <laughs> I'm a special guy. guy. Yeah, I can see it. I can see, gosh. I oh, can God, fight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to jump, grab <laughs> the scaffolding. Okay. Uh, hold on. How no, do I grab it? Bad. Can you grab it one? Can't grab it with you. Oh, on really? It. Maybe if I'm, uh, maybe if I'm the last person, or if, if it's uh, where I've last stood. Yeah, can you just move it further? Over? Yeah. Excellent. Shit. Good, good. Not good. I started falling. No, bueno. <laughs> when she says she's gonna get back together with him, but there's no change in the relationship whatsoever. No, bueno. <laughs> 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 is that the Spanish word for brain? I don't care. I don't care. And neither does he. <laughs> About all of that, though. <laughs> so, why did you tell her you were going to change and then not? What can I say? I'm a sexual guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I clicked in on the. Right, that was something. There may be something there that wasn't there before. <laughs> in Power Wash Simulator, when somebody tries to claim you didn't finish what you started, there may be something there that wasn't there before. <laughs> Just giving excuses. Okay. Is the head guy finished? He is. Okay. There's probably some of those lights up there that still need to be done. Oh, there's a flagpole, I guess. Um, four railing posts. Top door frame. Vertical frames, uh, 15 of 16. Can't get this vertical frame. I was about to say that, that's definitely what that one is. That's because it's below you. <laughs> I, I saw know. like three little specks of black right underneath where you were standing. Wait, there's a flag? Uh, yeah, I think it's the one up top. Maybe the tip of it isn't quite clean. 
Hit the tip. <laughs> he said the tip. Got it. Uh, I think some of these railings up top here probably aren't done yet. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. That was too busy railing. Railer? I hardly know her. That's exactly why I did. <laughs> why? Because she doesn't know my number. She can't text me back. He's a sexual guy. Right. Uh, uh, top door frame is one of them. So like the frame of your door, I don't know where that would be. Just I can't get up there. All this shit. I can't get up. I can't get it up. You can't get it up. <laughs> can't get it up. Oh, there it is. What can I say? I'm an asexual guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, maybe it's the maybe it's the one up top, that frame. Because there's two doors. Probably top door frame. Not the top of the door frame, it's probably the top door's frame. Yeah, there Ooh, it is. Ooh, Ben, you missed it. There it was. Little corner piece. Alright, what do we got left? Um, another railing post. I guess one of these still isn't done. I'll have to look for that. Um, <clears throat> slide frames, um, which are those little red ones that go perpendicular to the slide direction. There's one of those left. Um, stairs apparently aren't done. Uh, first tier ring frame. And then a fourth tier panels. All right, which one of these isn't done yet? I can hit the stairs. Was it a railing post I needed? Do you have railings down there? Oh, there we go. Which one is it? That one. No, but like giving relationship advice to women about how scummy dudes are. Because, you know, neither of us specifically ever try to be scummy. And there are definitely times that we've had where we haven't been necessarily, like, the most savory of people. True. Oh, it's the underside of the railing. Yeah, there you go. Slide frame. So one of those little shits. Slide railing. Yeah. Fourth tier panel. Shits. First tier ring frame. Five, six. Oh, it's the bottom first tier ring frame. There we go. Uh, fourth tier panel slide frame. All right, I'm gonna start at the. Which one are you doing? No. Fourth tier panel. That's uh, it's up there. I don't pay attention to the names of things while I'm spraying them. So I have to find them later. That's okay. I don't pay attention to the girls' names as I'm doing yeah, them. Me neither. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the fact that I had a rule of never remembering women's names when I met them? Yeah. Really? Not like... Not specifically trying to not remember people that I've been with. Obviously, I remember all of their names. But I had specifically... I had specifically course, course. tried not to remember or learn, like, women's names when I met them. Because if I never knew their name, I could never try to engage them. And, like, try to get with them. Oh, it's the very top one. Slide frame. The very top slide frame. I'm gonna go get it from the top. Hmm. <laughs>
Dragon, come up here. You'll never guess where this dirt is at. What? Where? Right here? <laughs> Just a massive piece of dirt on the top of the slide. <laughs> Ooh, look at us cleaning that yeah, dirt. Yeah, we did it. capture them um do you want to do private jet or do you want to go do your bathroom dragon um the bathroom, the bathroom. Right. you go ahead and go host it then oh wait is it mine no let's just oh, keep okay. going with yours i suppose you didn't remember at the beginning i was like i did a bathroom before this so we can either go do that with you or continue Hey, cool. I don't have to rehost you. All right, hang on. Don't start spraying anything yet. Let me double check what this achievement is. I think it's the, like, gravity lift or whatever for the plane. All right. Complete the private jet laser and anti-gravity parts first. Okay, so don't spray anything that doesn't say laser or anti-gravity parts. Okay. Careful you're not hitting stuff behind it. Careful, you're hitting the underside of the plane. Yeah, but as long as I don't. All right, don't hit it. the laser mount until we've got the anti gravity thing first. Just, just get the laser. All right, laser done. Where's the anti gravity parts then? There you go. Uh, there's a booster on the bottom side over here, and on the top. Okay, so is there? Are, you got a booster and panel on your side too? Yeah. These uh these circular bits. There's a there's a piece on the bottom uh, and then the panel yeah. on the top. Yep. Just auto completes the wing because I hit like three portions of it. Damn. I completed two percent of the wing. Gotta try to figure out which job is gonna be easiest to get 95 on without ever completing. And I feel like it's gonna be easier to do it with a low power uh, washer. So that way you can leave grime behind more easily. I mean, this one we could easily do. We've already completed the laser. To 95. No, you said get to 95% of Without, then without put completing the any item. Oh. Okay, I got my top panel done. Do the bottom panel next. There we go. What do I get up top? Uh, ladder or there's a step stool. I'll be taking that. Please no, my step stool. What are you doing, step stool? Oh my god, step stool. Find a way, I find a way. If you open up your eyes. Oh yeah, I used to back in high school. I used to say I would. Uh, 
watch Victorious or something. Like, oh, that's a girl show, but like the guilty pleasure of like listening to the music from Victorious. I've never watched or listened to that show. Yeah, I didn't have what? any. I didn't have any like oh, rhyme or reason to it. I just, I just wasn't Neither watching TV at the time that it was coming out. Yeah, I, I haven't the, watched it. Um, I, I was saying that the only so, amount sorry. of Victorious that I've watched was. Um... There we go. Suspicious. Yay! All right, I'm gonna start off cleaning the dick. When you go into a salon and specifically ask them to only clean your dick. All right, I'm going to start cleaning the dick. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now, this might feel weird. I don't know what else you would end up clearing, cleaning. Oh, did I tell you one time I slapped a doctor's hand while they were supposed to be giving me a physical when I was like six? She got no. fucking but pissed I mean, at me. She was so annoyed and yelled at my mom. She was like, he just slapped me. She's like, he can't be slapping a doctor while she's giving him a physical. Because, you know, she had, like, listened to me or whatever, had me uh, lay back down on the table. And then she, like, she immediately went to go open my pants. So, you know, my natural reaction, not knowing that that was going to happen, I slapped her hand. And she got yeah. pissed at me. Why would she take off your pants? Because she was my doctor. She was giving me a physical. It's still weird. That's still weird. What do you mean? You say they ask you to disrobe yourself. There's no reason to then... fully disrobe if all they're doing is checking your genitals. Well, not like disrobe, but take off your own pants. I don't see why a doctor would do it. My, uh, my physical after that, the doctor, or I, you know, they specifically just pulled down my pants. Yeah. What? What type of doctor did you go with to, man? Know. That's a little weird. Why is that weird? Because you take off your own pants. You don't need a doctor to take them off for you. Every doctor's appointment I've been to, they're like, all right, take off your pants. Every doctor's like, appointment? I ain't having no doctor. Even when you're like, Every doctor's <laughs> even when you're like I might have a cold, yes. they're like, take off your pants. <laughs> What kind of 1600s doctor are you going to? <laughs> Accidentally walked into a gynecologist. Uh, All right, take off your cough. pants. Bend over and cough. We'll see just how sick you are. Bend over and moan. What? Nothing. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Say my name. What? <laughs> Say my name. Dr. Guillermo? Damn right. <laughs> I actually completely butcher the name. Dr. Gmnamnia. That's right. <laughs> Google it, Titus. Now, tell Dr. Hippopotamus' his name back to himself. Do uh, uh, hip, hip, hip hop? Hip, hip hop anonymous? Hippopotamus. <laughs> I actually do have a new doctor um, as of not that long ago. Who takes off your pants? Well, I never go to the doctor to begin with. That's terrible. If they're a girl, you should always want them to take off your pants. Like, <laughs> you ever have that? <laughs> do you like that? I like that. I like that so much. <laughs> I just go get physicals now for the pure act of them taking off. I actually, my pants. I was, I was debating. Um, <laughs> so I, I've had piercings, right? And not that I was okay. actually um, thinking about doing so, but I had a thought that if I was to go and get like a Jacob's ladder or something, you know what that is, right? It's what? um, it's bars across the um underside of your phallus. Ah, so you're really trying so to I was, stupid. Got it. Okay. I was like, you know what? If I was to go do that, would it be 
more weird to go to the person who did my other facial piercings, who I'm kind of friendly with. Specifically because, like, she's done my other piercings. So I would expect that she wouldn't end up, you know, like, causing any damage. Or would it be, like, more weird because I'm already friendly with her? Would it be, like, is, is there a thing where, like, creepy dudes will, like, want to go get a dick piercing from a chick they hope to see so they can be like, yeah, you like that? <laughs> I feel like I, I'm, I'm automatically, like, overthinking it. But at the same time, I'm like, I wouldn't yeah, want are. to go get a piercing from somebody else unless I'd already received piercings from them before. Especially for that. Like, I don't know if, yeah. I'm, if, I'm if sure I would a want to basically. be pierced by somebody else. <laughs> it's the same logic behind wanting to get married and saving yourself until marriage. I don't want to get pierced by anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I really like I her. Really, 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 I really, really, really her. like getting stabbed by you. By you. You stab me too. Do you like stabbing me too? And they're like, yeah. When you're actually a sadist, so that's why you want to become a piercer, you specifically, like, you don't do it wrong, but you do it in a way that is definitely not as pleasant for the person as you could have made it. Secretly causing people just a little bit more pain at any given point just to have the satisfaction of doing so i'm in control of the pain none of my none of the like the processes of actually getting pierced really hurt that much like comparatively one of the only ones that actually like had a decent amount of pain for the process of doing it was my nose which of course is like really thick cartilage by you know when compared to your tongue, which basically you don't really feel it going through, and then just like soft skin were the other ones. You know, like actually piercing decently tough cartilage. So the nose, the nose, uh, brought me to tears when it happened. Of course, now all of them are healed up now. Like the holes are healed closed. Well, what are you doing? Yeah. Are you being a kitty? Yeah. I'm a kitty, I'm kitty, a kitty. I'm not I'm sure why cat. Lily is sleeping. Although she was up like really early this morning trying to wake me up. It just didn't work. Well, yeah, because when I, when I wanted them to go to bed, Lily was the first one that fell asleep. So she was up at like six trying to wake me up. Willow, you want to come here real quick? Okay, Willow, say, I'm a kitty, no. kitty, kitty. I'm a kitty. No, no, say, I'm a kitty, kitty, kitty. I don't like that. You don't like that? I'm a kitty. You don't want to say that? It's a song. Say, I'm a kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm a cat. Can you say that one? I don't like you don't like doing that? You get performance anxiety? Me too. <laughs> I think you do have uh, performance anxiety in two different ways. Did I ever tell you about that, by the way? I had, um... <clears throat> the, the first time that, um... I had, like, not gone through a very long amount of time knowing somebody you know like months and months um before taking them to bed i got like really nervous about it too especially because it was immediately after um you know someone who shall not be named went and started trying to post stuff online about me like taking advantage of them you know said person whom uh also told me that i 
uh, had unknowingly did have a kid well, with them. <laughs> the I, I believe I told you about that, right? The the person who had um, told me that I had unknowingly been forcing myself on them. Sounds familiar. So the, there was the 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 conversation um, when we were driving, and I had to stop the car because I told her that uh, I think all people who just decide that they're going to force themselves onto somebody should be killed. And she had responded, "Well, then you should be killed." And I was like, "I, I, I, uh, I was like, ex I was like, the God excuse me." And she was like, yeah, you've, she used the R word, obviously, but she was like, yeah, you forced yourself on me. And I was like, okay. And I stopped the car and I was like, we are dissecting this because at no point have I ever done anything to you without your consent. And she was like, well, yeah, yeah. of course I've, I've like told you yes and stuff. And I was like, yeah, okay. yeah, that's, that's how consent works. And she was like, but I didn't always want to. And I was like, that's when you say no. I was like, that, that's when you say no. And she was like, well, you know, you can be persuasive. And I was like, yeah, but I, I don't try to persuade you in, to do that if you don't want to. That's just, you know, basic human decency. And she was like, well, you get kind of mean and distant if I tell you no. And I was like, what? What? She was like, "Yeah, well, like if we're if we're cuddling or something like that, and you try to go for it, and I tell you no, you like, you leave the room, and I don't want you to leave the room." And I was like, "If, if I'm turned on in the mood, and you're not, I'm gonna go take care of it myself. I'm not gonna like sit there and you know do stuff in front of you." And she was like, "Well, yeah, but." Like, I, I'm, I'm worried how you're going to react, so I just always say yes. And I'm like, that's 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 literally not me doing anything, though. That is your perception and you assuming and acting like I am going to specifically... Like, I don't try to be mean because you said no. If I'm in the mood and you say no, I'm going to go be in the mood by myself. Yeah. And, uh... <clears throat> I was uh, really pissed off with that. That uh, that it, like the same the same thing was like uh, we had the conversation um, about how stupid like two of her friends were uh, because her two friends uh, were female and they were together and they wanted to have a kid, so they would you know go and like pick up dudes and then uh, like let them come back to the apartment or whatever and they would specifically tell them like oh we like it really rough like I want you to hit her please leave marks like that type of shit. And then they, I guess their logic that they had told her was that because of the fact that they left, like, bruises and stuff on them, because, like, they, like, they would tell them, too, that they, if they got pregnant, would be able to use the fact that, like, the guy had left marks on them for trying to claim that he oh had forced God. himself onto them. And I was like, that's, first of all, it's two women at the exact same time. If you're able to keep both of them under control, that's good props, but fucked up. And, like, just the fact that they would try to pull that kind of shit, I was like, that is really fucked up. And that was actually the conversation that we were having was, like, if if the guys actually were doing that type of thing then it would actually be a problem. So, yeah, it's... It... I mean, at what point is it considered a problem if they're asking for it? Well, that's the thing, though, is that, like, I've, I've, you know, I've been with, you know, several people, and there's only ever been one instance where she has reported back to me that, like, I can't affect if, if people are lying about it. Because if they... If they act satisfied then I can't, like, change anything to try to make it for the better for them. Like, if they're like, oh, man, that was awesome, then I'm, obviously I'm not going to be like, well, I need to, you know, really up my game. The the one person who told me specifically that I was incapable of satisfying them was, of course, the masochist that I had been with. And um, hmm. 
it, it, it took me a while to get comfortable enough with them to, you know, recognize that it, it was, you know, the infliction of pain that, you know, helped them along and stuff like that. But we just, we weren't together long enough for me to be comfortable with the amount of pain that she liked having inflicted. You know, because I'm, I'm positive about that kind of stuff when it's like, you know, this is what I like. You know, I'm, I'm going to put forth the effort to give you what it is that you enjoy. But, like, that in particular is something that kind of has to be built up to just because of the fact that it's not something that I naturally try to do. You know, yeah. if there's... There's certain leeway now at this point just because of experience that if somebody's like, I really like to have this done, I'm like, cool. You're an adult. You know when to tell me to stop. Obviously, I am only doing this because you've told me you like it. So at any point, if you don't anymore, tell me and I will stop. You know, like that's that's the basic understanding yeah. that you have is like if there's something happening you don't want you say something about it right away you know in the in the situation of the the trans friend that i have when we had done stuff together i had specifically told them i was like you're the person i'm most comfortable allowing this to happen with we already had the conversation about like this might not become a permanent thing because it it's definitely like this is an experimental so yeah. the the point isn't to be like you know using you one and done we've been friends for a while we can try this but like the second i was uncomfortable i was like hey can we stop just you know as you would naturally do yeah. as an adult who doesn't want to continue doing something well i mean that makes sense <clears throat> And I appreciate they didn't really get mad about the fact that I didn't ever want to do that again. So naturally, we still talk and they're still friends. Look at that. You used your words to tell them what you wanted or yeah, didn't want. It's, it's almost like the communication casual. is what's most important at all times. Wow. Yeah. Fuck. Wow a life lesson we could take to the podcast. <laughs> Episode one of the Power Washing Simulator podcast. The podcast goes until we both have like $500,000 in Power Washing Simulator. Because we just sit here and clean <laughs> shit. Alright, people watched last week's episode, Dragon. This is what they're asking about this week. What should we call the podcast? How do I satisfy my well, boyfriend? Well, you see, how do, how do how do we sell it as like a <clears throat> a relationship thing by two dudes who are both single about how to deal with relationships? Um, how how do we uh, market that and name it? Single handed device. <laughs> single handedly. <laughs> The relationship podcast by two lonely dudes. <laughs> I like I like it single handedly. You know, because because the the joke there, the joke there is that, oh, is that we're using we're is. using one hand for our own relationships. <laughs> single handedly, yep. Yeah. Oh, there's the fuselage. Okay, I, w I was looking at it, and the I was like, I don't know where that would be, because I haven't cleaned most of it. Okay, what do we have left? Um, antenna. Um, there's a cockpit sensor. Two elevator. What? Elevators? How are there fucking elevators? Excuse me? Oh, elevators. Duh. I, I totally forgot that there's there's pieces oh. on planes called elevators. 
Yeah, there we go. They're they're up there. Let me get them. There we go. God, I was like, where the fuck is an elevator on this plane? I've never been on a plane with an elevator. No, every plane you've been on has an elevator. Fucking genius. All right, where are the antennas that we're missing? Are these these thingies? Ailerons. It's what antennas? Vortex. Did you already get the antenna? I uh, highly doubt Wing it. Wing wirings, wheels, um, two vortex generators. Whatever that vortex thing was you just cleaned, you've got two more of those to do. Are those the vortex thingies? Yep. Okay, wing wiring. Alright, what else? Fuse wiring. Uh, there's an antenna somewhere. Oh, here's fuselage wiring. And there's usually on the front of cars, so let's check the front of a plane. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> like, that's actually a, a really smart thing to be thinking, but I'm just like, you're an idiot at all times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nothing here. Right. Horizontal stabilizer. Where? Wait, is have you hit me? two antennas already? Because I have no clue. Static wick. All right, hang on. Is there? I still have the wing wiring to do, right? Yeah. And she's like, on your side, and like, you did this side. Yeah, but every side that's not done is your side. Exactly. You have to accept it. It's the way it works. Because that's just how it goes. There we go. I hate how there's, like, spots where things are inside each other, and you can hit the inside, but you can't see it. Where are antennas? That thing? Yeah, it's that thing. There we okay. Go. Found the last wheel. Take that thing's done. Cleaned. There's another antenna. One antenna. Two antenna. I don't see. There's the a antenna. cockpit oh, sensor. Hold the this? pit. Um, fuselage sensor, and then two more fuselage wiring still. <laughs> I get it. Hold the pit. <laughs> Hold the punch. Cockpit sensor. Have you ever heard of the pocket pussy? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the blue corn moon? <laughs> the wolf cried to the blue corn moon. Ah. Oh. God, it's like I'm teaching kindergarten. <laughs> that's what that's what the wolf cried to the moon. I hated wolf kindergarten, yeah. honestly. Where's the other antenna? Laser wiring. Mm -hmm. There we go. Those are sensors? Alright, there's still some fuselage wiring. Have you ever heard the cheeks clap to the blue corn moon? Ba -doop. Ta da! All right, where are the rest of the fuselage wiring at? Or did I just get that? 
still an antenna, still a fuselage, wiring and sensors. Uh, tail scoops. Okay, so tail scoops, and then we've only got three left. I'm going to go see what the fuck tail scoops are. What are tail scoops? I'd imagine a little reacting to a relationship. What? Just saying, imagine overreacting to a relationship. She's over there messing me, messaging me, saying that she's puking because she can't handle the stress of it. I'm like, it's a relationship, girl. <laughs> You're gonna have tons of them. I'll give you more advice on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was about to tell her I have no more advice for you, uh... Everything else, like you have the evidence and can make your own decisions for it. She's like, I'm puking and I'm like, it'll be okay, I promise. <laughs> so when are you guys banging, by the way? No, I only give helpful advice. I enjoy the single life too much. <laughs> Fair enough. Imagine having to make all decisions based upon your significant other. Imagine needing to bake make any decisions based off your significant other. Oh, do you have the last antenna done yet? No, I okay. couldn't find it. Oh. I saw the Wait, big what? one and I was like, oh, that's considered an antenna. That's fucking stupid. It's a little tiny fucking wing thing. This little bastard. This yeah. little piece of shit right here sticking up out of the wiring. Oh I my saw... god. I saw yeah, this, this one and then yeah. that one. Oh Alright, there's another god. fuselage center somewhere. Sensor. Yeah. Where's the tail scoop? I think it's you did circle, one of the tail right? scoops. There were two of them that we needed. Where are the tail scoops at? Is that a tail scoop? That's a tail scoop. Uh, yeah, there we go. I did the vortex generator. What? Got it. All right. Fuselage. Yeah, there's some. Thing. There's. Look they like? look like a bunch of different things. Wing mount sensor. Like, any little tiny bit of shit that's, like, poking out can be a sensor. That's an antenna. Cockpit sensor, cockpit sensor, cockpit sensor. Oh, cockpit sensor, yep. Is this a fuselage sensor? Wing mount sensor. So the bottom, this white bit is the wing mount. Stuff coming off of that is this. So it's basically a sensor somewhere on the middle bit? I don't see any sensors. Where the fuck are the sensors on the fuselage? That looks like a sensor. It's not. Daddy, I'm thirsty. I don't... Maybe it's up top. Daddy, I'm thirsty. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. These, um... These little gray blobs inside the, the wiring. These are fuselage sensors. There we go. Last one's right here. Nice. You're thirsty? What do you want? See? Hi, Willow. You want orange juice? Go get right, a cup. Say hi. Hi, Willow. Alright, I'll come help you. Uh, next one is the boat, if you want to check the uh, achievement for it. Okay. What is this? Complete the fishing boat decks in steps first. Deck and steps? Okay. If, if it's a fishing boat. I mean, it's a boat. This looks like... Hey, look! Is it's it that douchebag who won't let us on our property, boat? on his property before. Hey! Yeah, this is what I think of your fucking Sprays property me. now. This is what I think of it. Windows. Okay, so... so... <laughs> This is definitely not a fishing boat. Are there steps on this? Find the steps, if there are any. 
What's this one called? Can't tell. Clean the, the frolic boat. boat. Dirt Finder, are you as no, mesmerized by the principle of Archimedes as I am? There's barely a day that goes by when I don't undertake some kind of minor water displacement experiment. Today I'm seeing what happens when I pack all my worldly goods onto my frolic boat and take it for a trip down river someplace. I've granted you full access to my property this time to assist the clean, which will be rescinded following the removal of the final fleck. I'd appreciate it if we kept this between ourselves. I don't want anyone to get ridiculous idea that I'm skipping town. This guy sounds shady as fuck. You already cleaned something, didn't you? Fair enough. Let's yep. do it. It's not a fishing boat. It's not a fishing boat. It's not a pry bar. It's not a pry bar. <laughs> they were supposed to be giving us sexual advice on the questions that we asked, but they just kept making Road to El Dorado references. <laughs> And as they say in El Dorado, he gave me loaded dice. <laughs> and as Pinhead said from Dead by Daylight, and I came. And I came. <laughs> Relationship That's advice a compliment. 101. I've came in your sister. Fire dragon. <laughs> <laughs> relationship advice 102 if he says he came in your sister don't date him <laughs> <laughs> unless he's the only hot gay guy you know I wonder if anybody's ever been in that situation. Dragon. What if uh, what if there were yeah. two siblings, we male go. and female, and they were both interested in their same sex, right? And okay. and say they wanted to have kids, right? Which is it less weird to do? The... The gay guy... Intimate with each other's the, yeah, partner? Is, would you want it to be your sibling? Or would you want to be your sibling's uh, significant other? Remember, folks, you only get these questions here yeah, single-handedly. <laughs> so, so, barring the option of the two people who aren't um, in the the sibling group, so so you know, like obviously, there's the there would be the lesbian sister and the gay brother, right? You can't have the the brother's husband. Or the sister's wife. Like, you can't have those two choose to make a child, right? It has to be... It has to be one of the siblings and one of the significant others. Obviously, the option of both of the siblings is out. Cool. I've slept with my sibling. That's a compliment. <laughs> like the, the southern kids who uh, get done having sex. <laughs> And the sister's like, man, you fuck like dad. The brother's like, that's what mom said. Oops. God, I wish I was in the South right now. <laughs> was it you or Brandon that uh, said I'm never allowed to meet your sister? Uh, probably both. Both? <laughs> both? Both is good. <laughs> All right, Dragon, which one is it? Which or, which one is less weird? Sleeping with your sibling or sleeping your, with a gay guy? Your gay husband impregnating your sister or your... Hang on, I'm trying to focus on this. Oh, that's not separate. Okay, never mind. Um... 
So your gay brother... Not gay, yeah. Your gay brother impregnating your wife, or your gay husband impregnating your sister? Wait, that's the same one. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse that. You know what I'm trying to ask. My gay husband impregnating her gay wife, or my gay husband impregnating No, 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 no. You, you don't have the option of the two people who aren't related not being involved. You, okay, your gay husband impregnating your sister, or you impregnating your sister's wife. There you go. I get more sex out of it, me impregnating my girlfriend's wife. Your girlfriend's wife? You mean your sister's wife? No, it's, it doesn't matter. She'll be my girlfriend soon enough. I'll turn her. <laughs> part of the part, part, of, the part of the thing too is like you don't want the you don't want to even offer the two people who aren't related to have a kid because then it's just you and your sister single if they decide that they want to keep the kid themselves and ditch both of you. You know, you... The fucked up side you, of how you, I met you. You would at least have the <laughs> the respect of, like, your own sibling not to try to run away with her wife. I feel like sleeping with my sister's wife would be less awkward. Than needing... Or would it? Than your husband sleeping with your sister? No matter what, it's awkward. I feel like it, if it was my husband and my sister, I would much rather let my husband fuck my sister than me, than me yeah, that... fucking my sister's wife. Because, A, not technically my kid, so if something falls apart, I am in no way responsible for their own decisions. So there's, there's like, the biggest positive right there. But then... What, you want to be part of your sister's family? What? You want to be part of your sister's family if uh, things went by? You... Like, it's her kid, so you say that you want to be, like, held responsible if things went by. I feel like the answer by. here is just do both. Both, both is good. Both is good. <laughs> they keep trying to give relationship advice, but they're actually just asking stupid questions and making Road to El Dorado references. Again. <laughs> Damn. Do you know why we're both asking stupid questions and making references? Why? Because both is good. Because we're both single. <laughs> Yeah, if I was in that situation, I would definitely want to not be the person um, having the child. Well, you're a man, so you wouldn't be having the child about it. Right, but I mean, like, as as somebody who has already had, yeah, as somebody who has already on, had like, kids men can have and too. knows that as soon as the sperm leaves your body, you are oh, well, you are considered the removable factor like knowing that if i was in said situation i would recommend to my gay friend who has a husband and they're trying to debate this i would tell i would tell them to let their husband do it because then because then if they happen to be like the more mature one out of the situation like overall should something, you know, fall apart between the situation? Yeah, see, here's the problem. Is that, like, just being in a relationship is a bad idea. Because it's, it, it's always based off of what somebody else is going to do. And the fact that you... The Welcome fact that you would... The fact that you would... Being a relationship is so Base what's idea. happening in your future life off of somebody else's whims is laughable. Um, anyway... I, I would say I would recommend them to let their husband do it 
because should something fall apart and they, you know, if it's not the husband's fault that whatever it is falls apart, then the husband still has, like, the support group there. Like, you're still together with him if it falls apart. And then if, like, if for whatever reason, like, shit hit the fan and the sister was involved, the recommendation there would be, like, we'll just wait for your sister to, you know, get her wits about her, basically. Some people never do, but that would be what you would hope for. Why are you uh, down to spray the bottom when there's thing. still all this crap up here? Nah, you needed help. I came to give help. I came to give head. Jesus. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Hey, yo! <laughs> come to give help. Come to give head. No, no. Give head so somebody else can come. <laughs> the real reality is Dragon just got sick of what he was spraying, so he came to get my job done sooner so I'd come up and spray. Shh. Spray what you didn't want to anymore? I don't know what you're talking about. You're like, man, I'm on the tedious shit. I'm just gonna go ruin what Ben is doing. Ben is on the case. Da -dum. Da -dum. Ben looks like he's having fun over there. Let me have fun with too. Da -dum. Da -dum. Da -dum. Isn't it great how much fun you can have when you're maniacal? You look like you're having fun. <laughs> You scratch my back, I'll scratch my back too. <laughs> I don't know the rest of that song. It was in um, Over the Hedge. Look out, new world, here we come. Face and travels. I wonder what the name of that song is. Oh, I should have you watch the um, the opening to Chicken Little. You like Bare Naked Ladies, right? And the band? I do. I also like the song. There's a there's a. What I was going to say there's a yeah. song Bare Naked Ladies. What? It's a band, one way and look at me. It's like the uh, that's not even the, close the to band me. that names their album after the band name, and then has a song on said album named after the band. I feel like if you do that, that song had better be your magnum opus, like for your entire band. If you name a song directly after your band name. It's got to be fucking good. Like, if that's not oh, yeah. a song... That's a make Yeah, if that's song. not a song that absolutely slaps, you you can't do that. It's just not allowed. Like, you've just... You've put the nail in your own coffin. Oh, it's allowed. you put a you nail just, in your coffin. Yeah. Uh, Iggy Azalea is coming out of retirement. I, I was gonna say that. Retired. Why would she be retired? And why would she come out of retirement? I don't know. She wants to make more music, I guess. She was too busy with all that time she had. She's too bored. I was listening to the radio yesterday. Oh god, here comes the pun. And they were talking about it. <laughs> While getting Radiohead. <laughs> Do you know that Prince is coming out of retirement? <laughs> Are you Googling?
feeling something or like after I said that you're like nah I'm done you just stop or are you texting texting on the job typical dragon I lost the battery oh on your controller yeah yeah I I, I wouldn't really get throwing up over a relationship then again, I don't feel emotion like most people do anymore. I'm dead inside. I've heard, yeah. Yeah, Someone you know like I that. have two kids, so. You jump on my head, I jump on uh, yours. Canopy trim, control box, control panel. Uh, decks, deck walls, seats, steering wheel. So canopy trim. I got the steering wheel. Control panel, deck, window frame. Oh, these, uh, these window frames. There we go. Must be another deck. Yeah, the back deck. Taking the deck from the back. Have you ever taken a deck from the back? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about uh, my friend <laughs> when we were doing the plane. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, clean monster truck. We gotta do the tires first. No, we don't. Okay. Jack's like, I'm done playing no, this no, game. No, Fuck no. you. No. Fuck, Fuck you. I found you, dun 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 dun. I feel good. Do 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 do. Do that I'm putting. Do 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 do. I feel good. So good. So good. So, so good. good. I found you, dun dun. What's a do what now? <laughs> She's singing it in divorce court to you. I fucked you, fucked you, fucked you. Got half your shit. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing that bump, bump, bump on your own guitar kit. Or that, that fucking drum kit. Yeah, guitar kit. There we go. Hey, what are you up to? Hey, hey, whoa, hey, what you doing? Up in my space here, hey. Hey, yo. Oh, hey, you're getting your pastrami up on my meatball sandwich. You like it. <laughs> you would like pastrami in your meatball sandwich, and you know it. <laughs> that does sound pretty good. Yeah. As soon as you said it, I was like, what are you complaining about? <laughs> Somebody please t tell me what there's to complain about. All right, I got one of my tires done. I could have got uh, that one done. I do, had some asshole in the way. Do the tire before you do the the wheel uh, part, and then do the wheels after, just in case we don't get it yet. I couldn't do that part because some asshole. You literally ignored half of your tread. That's because I couldn't do it. There was some asshole. There was one fucking asshole. You took up my space underneath. 
One wet bastard. Who took up my space. And I'm jealous of his teeth. <laughs> but to answer your question, why I didn't clean my wheel. Every first reason that might make a peel is I thought that someone Get the would fuck come out in of just my to way. Lunch up. I thought that I'd get away with it. If it weren't for those metal it's me. It's me who has to do this job. Alright, so we need tires Yeah, do, first, do the, the black of the tires, and then if it doesn't trigger the achievement, then we'll do the inner rims and outer rims of them. And then that should be the achievement, no matter what. So, like, don't don't spray off, like, the inside of the the rims and shit. Too late. Like, don't let them ding. I don't know if I did on the first I tire. Okay. The only thing that's dinged so far is uh, two of the tires. Gotta try to make sure I'm not like hitting too many of these uh springs in my way. In my way, I see you all over the undercarriage. You prevent me from getting full sprayage. You should uh ask her what new drama there is so we can talk about it for content what's that you should ask her if she has any more drama she wants to go off of real quick so that we that way we can <laughs> talk about it exclusive single-handedly content <laughs> it's only this tire left already cleaned up already cleaned anything, up the yeah. other one you also don't crouch as much. You don't I don't see anything. Much. It's a black tire. If you're not using your x-ray, it's not going to tell you anything. There we go. All right. That's it. All right, cool. I'm jumping on top. Dragon. Spray the squishy Ooh. butthole. Bussy. I'm serious. Go spray its butthole right now. Does it have one? Let's... Oh, there really? should have been an achievement called censorship. Spray everywhere but the small area right underneath the tail. <laughs> you specifically spray it to be like one of the little star patterns. Go Brazilian with it. <laughs> I gave the cat monster truck a Brazilian. Drives it to Brazil. I feel like this is almost a street legal monster truck. It doesn't look like it's terribly big. Let's see, how big is the van? The van, like, either our characters are tall or the van is really small. No, this is probably a decent sized monster truck. There's no way that's street legal. Is Spooky on? Wasn't she in earlier? Not in the body. Not unless it was before I got on.
Do you ever? Oh my God. Do you ever read the notifications on your screen? We were just talking about. We were just talking about what? Every now and then. We were just talking about this. About what? It's a kitty, it's kitty, a kitty. It's a cat. If you mess with it, you're gonna get run the fuck over. <laughs> you're gonna fucking get run over. It's gonna crush your car. <laughs> Kitty! Kitty! Cat! Cat! Meow, 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 meow. I'm a cat. I have known way too many cats, by the way. <laughs> like, the number of girls that are named, like, Caitlin or Catherine. That, uh, there's probably more as well. I... Katie's. Like, they just go by cat a lot of the time online. So I've known several cats that I've played video games with at this point. It was bad enough that um, back when Nicole and I were first together, I would like have a conversation and talk about who I was playing online with. And she'd be like, wait, which, which cat are you talking about? The... The one you used to play with that you've told me about, or the like the one that you play with right now? And I was like, uh, the one I play with right now. Or it's neither, and it's a new cat. And then if I say pussy, it's the one that I play with on you. <laughs> oh. And then if I say pussy, it's also just dragon. <laughs> that's what that's what you said the first time that's why I made that that's what I said the first time what? so I thought that's what you said the first time oh no 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 yeah no, when, like I, pussy. no okay. when I was talking about that I was like the you know her anatomy oh uh, oh uh. Anatomy. Ooh. Look at you, Mr. Sophisticated over here. Talking big words like anatomy. You hear that, ladies? He's a scholar. So sophisticated. We're sophisticated. This is single handedly. Where he's not. He's a sophisticated. Animal. We are sophisticated gentlemen. With yes, the mouths of sailors. We, we pick our pinkies up when we talk. Pinky out. We have this nice conversation over a bunch of tea and crumpets. It's gonna be a crump pocket. Let me this have game is so some UK. tea. By the way. So you can. Yeah. Look at the license plate. Company. Tell me what the name says on it. It says, oops. I did it again. Look, it's a big word. Actually, I guess if you read it backwards, it says spoo. Spoo? <laughs> spoo! It's oops backwards. I've heard of spoo. Some people order outside. Florida meow. Uh, what's a button for changing your? There we go. Clean it real quick. Keep clear fire. Yeah, look at what the name says on license plate, by the way. No, it says no, Florida it's Meow. It's like the name of the license plate when it comes to cleaning. Mucky no, him? No, look. Jesus Christ. The top left. The top left. What it says the, the object is you have to clean. Florida? Uh, on the left. God, you're dumb. You're dumb. 
know what you're talking about. There's nothing in the top left. It says Bucky PM floating On the top meow. left of your screen, Actually, it says uh, when you're looking at the object, what does it say the name of the object is that needs to be clean? So when you're looking at the tire, it says T-Y-R-E. When you're looking at the license plate, what does it say? Does yes, it, it fucking it does. Name? Of your screen, not the license plate. I'm looking plate. at it right now. It doesn't you're say You're not anything. looking directly at the license plate then. No. Tire. Why are you looking at a tire? Nothing. Look at the license plate. No. I'm looking at the, Look at the top. Plate. Are you? Is your little dot in the center of your screen directly on the license plate? Yeah. Look in the top left corner yes. of your screen where it says 98% clean. It should say some. It should yes. say it's made of metal. What does it say the object is? You fucking tire. back up. You're too close to it. <laughs> what does it say now? Oh, number plate. Oh, you number were plate. so close to it, your fucking square was pointing at the tire. So it was it was telling you tire. I want to invite Pookie to come power wash with us. Why? Oh, she's annoying. Welcome to single-handedly. Where can I invite another single person? <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> Who can help us? Supposedly. Supposedly, Supposedly single person. She just doesn't realize what she's done yet. Oh, you're missing the step. You're moving on without doing the step. By the way, if you meet somebody on a dating oh, website, in the... Okay, never mind. I was going to... I was going to get some exclusive single-handedly advice. Pookie, we're starting a podcast. No. You're okay, our first right, guest. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to the podcast, Pookie. Welcome to the podcast. Gets worse here every day. Pookie, you're, you're officially the first guest on single-handedly. The Ben and Dragon... Uh, relationship podcast relationship advice yep. podcast where we play dumb video games talking about your own relationship no we just give advice relationship you mean our lack advice. thereof we give advice about the relationship how can dragon give relationship dragon? advice if he's never he's been, been in one, one. Hey, what about the plus he's got common sense and knows dudes so anybody who is a guy exactly. that knows how guys think Darcy, and how I guys act can give advice on how to respond to guys. Are you being 100% serious right now, or are you messing with me? Being 100% no, serious practice. right now. Yeah. He he yeah. asked me. Our name is uh, single handedly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great name. Because it's how it's how we end up getting laid. Single handedly. Yeah. Yeah. Because we we do it with, I came with up a hand. With it. We came up with it. But I came up with it. He said the word out loud while I was trying to think of a name and I was like, exactly, we're going with that. <laughs> Alright, Dragon, where are the fucking sprockets we're missing or whatever it is? Do you have anything to say to our viewers out there? Flame Pookie? exhausts. As someone. Flame exhausts. No. Well, you were here yeah, first, folks. Women are not talkative. <laughs> <laughs> I, excuse you, I have a headache right now. So. And let's deep dive into that. When a woman says that she has a <laughs> side hatch. Oh, I have a headache because my brother handle. literally I went to bed at two nice. and they came home and Matthew woke me up because he got on his game and started screaming. What a little bitch. Dragon wanted to play Rust. Do you want to play Rust? I got like no. I don't want to play Rust. I just want to play some relaxing Minecraft. Alright, Dragon, you want to switch games? Yeah. 